Hi, I'm Frank Slope, Director of Tennis Management for USTA Florida. Coming to you from indoors today because that's what we've got available to us. And I wanted to talk a little bit about toss for the serve and how you can uh, work on your toss at home and improve maybe a little technique and uh, get you going in a little better fashion than you have been on your toss if that's something that is of importance to you. So hopefully you can uh, bring this tip to some good while you're at home and before you can work on your game back out on the courts and we hope to see everybody soon. Improve your toss um, for your serve. And I see a lot of uh, practice directives for how to uh, work on your toss and things like that. For example, tossing up next to a wall or a windscreen. Uh, either way, as if the courts were uh, sideways to me now. And if I wanted to do this and keep my arm straight. Um, I've seen circles put on the court or tennis rackets put on the court or cones, you know, for practice in a certain spot about where the ball should land. Uh, and all are valid. They, they all have a purpose. However, toss, like many things in tennis, is, is technically oriented. So if you really are trying to improve your toss and not just have a practice method, you may want to review how you actually toss the ball and the things you can do to stabilize and improve your toss. Uh, and then you get to a practice point where that you can implement those changes. Um, and from what I find, I think that that's one of the easiest things to change. You don't really need to make a lot of um, uh, inherent uh, major changes in what you're doing to your toss to get it right or better. Um, you have to have a couple of concepts in mind. So if the courts, again, are out to my left arm and in front of me where the gray wall is, you know, you generally, if you're a right-hander and you're tossing with your left, you want to have the toss somewhere up in the range, up over and slightly out, perhaps to your right or left of your shoulder, not an extreme one way or the other. Uh, if you're physically able to do that and get the reach, because that's where you get your maximum power as you're rotating into the ball. And you can also utilize spin or top spin for a second serve. So that's one concept that you need to grasp as you utilize and, and uh, form a pattern of your tosses in your, in your head and physiologically. But what I really wanted to talk about was, you know, how you can hold the ball and how you can get a more stable toss. Uh, and I'll give you a couple of different viewpoints. But number one is that you're simply holding the ball out near the fingertips. It doesn't mean on the very tip because then you have a fumble like I just did. But if you can hold it out near the tips of your fingers, you can have, you don't have to hold it in your palm and grasp the ball and then have the effect of having your hand open at all the right time. And it usually, it's better for not spinning out of your hand if you're holding it out of your fingertips. If you hold it in your palm, the ball tends to spin out of your hand rather than a flat toss where the ball is not spinning as much and has a little, uh, again, a little better control about how you toss the ball up or produces a little better control. So with that in mind, I wanted to talk to you again. Okay, so if my left arm is extended, if I'm a right-handed server, and whether, again, in this viewpoint, you see again, the toss would be slightly out to the right so that I can come in to the ball and appropriately turn it into my serve for maximum effect. But also that I want to keep my arm relatively straight here. I see a lot of folks, after holding the ball here in your fingertips, that if you bend your arm and you're raising your ball toss, then what happens is the ball also moves in that direction, whether it be here backwards, or if you release the ball a little too early and you tend to flip out your elbow in a certain speed and fashion, then the ball will go too far out in front. So that's one uh, tip so that you just have your, your arm relatively stable and when you go to toss that your arm stays relatively straight. You don't want to have a lot of movement in your toss because then you just can't tell where you're going to be releasing that ball in the toss and what kind of effect it's going to have on the ball when you're trying to meet the ball with the racket. So when you hold the ball out in the fingertips and keep your arm straight, then again, depending on how high you want to toss your ball, which in effect is your height plus the tennis racket and arm extension, a little bit higher than that usually is effective for more players than if you hold it a little, you know, have to toss a little lower. 
because then the ball drops and you're having to cramp your serve a little bit. But extend out fully with the right arm, but on the tossing arm, keep your arm straight and start your toss at an appropriate level, either down here or here, depending on how hard and fast you want to raise the ball. And then you can see it's very easy. Whoops, that one got away from me. I kind of toss that one out forward a little bit. But if I actually hold the ball and lift it up, keep it in my fingertips and keep my arm straight as one component, then it's easier to release the ball out in front and the ball travels straight, allows me to come into my serve. The, the second part of that, and then another aspect is, is if you keep your wrist firm. I see a lot of players where the arm may be straight here, and yet they tend to flip their wrist at the tip of the serve. So the ball doesn't come back in the same place. So ideally, again, if you're keeping your arm straight, uh, you know, and then keep your arms and your wrist straight, keep your hand open with the ball toss out on the fingertips and lift the ball up rather than throwing it up and pulling your hand back down, bending your elbow or your wrist then that's when you get so much variation in where you're tossing the ball and why it's hard to groove your serve. No matter how good your service swing is, if you can't get the ball in the right spot most times, then you're really gonna suffer and struggle with your consistency. So to give you another viewpoint, I'll stand facing the wall and up against the wall. So if I wanna toss, and again, you see my arm go up, it's about in the right spot if I'm going to come forward with my right arm and strike the ball. At the extension of my arm again here for maximum effect. And then I'm keeping the ball toss out in front, keep the wrist flat, keep the arm and the elbow straight. If I bend, everything goes, the toss goes, but it flies everywhere. So that's, that's the tip on the toss and that'll help you a lot. The other thing is just another practice. If you are under a gain of defense, if you're up against the fence and a windscreen, a wall, whatever you use for your practice target, or if you put a circle on the ground, that sometimes works as well. What I do is really utilize the fact that if I can catch the ball from my toss and not have to move my hand to catch it, then that's a pretty good toss. I might want to release a little earlier if I want to keep the ball extraordinarily out in front for a flat serve. I might hold on to it a little longer if I want the ball to come back so I can hit a little bit of a kick serve or slightly left or right of where my shoulder comes up directly off my, uh, my hand comes directly off my right shoulder. So those are some of the tips to create some consistency on your toss. So to recap, keep your arm straight, keep your wrist firm and flat, and keep your hand open as you toss the ball. Work on the height of the toss, and that comes from how low or high you extend your arm. If you start from here, you've got a longer period to travel, but it can be at the same speed as the ball comes out of your hand. If you start here, you probably gotta be a little quicker so you still get enough height on the toss. But usually that's a function of how your service motion works all total and together as a, as a team. But the toss itself, pretty straightforward. All right, thank you for tuning in today and enjoy your home tennis.